What the hell? 230? Me, don't touch it! Morning, I am in Ukraine, not too far out of Kiev. We're just in the car. This is Igor, my tour guide for the day. Hi. We're on our way to the Chernobyl exclusion zone. I've wanted to come for a couple of years now, but I've just never got around to doing it. But recently, obviously there's been a bit of a hype about Chernobyl with the new series coming out on Sky. I've watched it, oh, it was amazing. So I wanted to see it for myself. What I didn't realize is everybody who watches the channel knows everything I do is like last minute. And this was no different. I booked the flight literally the day before I came. And I thought I was gonna be able to go to Chernobyl and just walk around and explore it for myself. But it turns out that you just can't do that. There's checkpoints, there's a lot of security there, you need your passport. It's not something that you can just go in yourself. So if you are thinking of coming, just bear that in mind. I'll put Solo East travel detail, like the tour details below. This is not an advert, by the way. We're just reaching the 30 kilometer checkpoint now. So this is like the first one where you've got to show your passport and stuff. So everybody entering Chernobyl has to actually like stop here. Do they check your car as well? Yes. Igor's just got out the car to give my passport and to fill some documents in. It's so strict, I didn't even realise. It's actually worked out quite well though, spending the last few days in Kiev, because I've been speaking to a few of the locals about Chernobyl and to see what they think of it. And it's surprising that I haven't met one local in Kiev that has been to Chernobyl, because obviously it was a disaster, it was a really horrendous thing that happened a lot of people don't want to go and haven't gone who live locally so obviously it's mostly just tourists that come Right, we're on the move again. I've been given like this personal radiation monitor, so I've got to give that back at the end of the day so they can sort of test how much radiation I've had. Igor's been given the GPS tracker. GPS tracker. So basically we've got to like go around with this all day to basically show that we're not going anywhere that we shouldn't. That's crazy, the security, isn't it? We're now in the 30 kilometer Chernobyl exclusion zone. Just to give you an idea, on the Geiger counter, it says 0.17. In a normal city like Manchester, it'd be like 0.2, so it's still pretty low. My plan with my time in Chernobyl is to obviously do as much as possible. I wanna see like the exclusion zone around Chernobyl. I obviously wanna go to Pripyat and explore that. And whether I've got enough time after doing all that, I really wanna go into the hospital of where the firemen went and where they put the clothes in the basement and stuff like that like that's one of the most contaminated places within the zone itself so we'll see how we can do that over the next few videos so here you've got the radiation signs there's all like the red forest so you look at this here and it's like seven here you take it close to the soil 13 14 it literally just keeps rising and rising and rising that place is lethal we're just in the car going through the red forest and look at the counter the counter's 13 and i'm sat in the car 14 now so this is where the radiation went is it in the forest put your hands off put the hand out look at 40 oh my god can you imagine if you were stood in that grass mate that is scary it's 37 just with the out the window you've even got the radiation mask Marker there. Uh, this is kindergarten, daycare facility for children. A kindergarten? Nursery. This is the playroom. Oh my god, look at this. Dolls, teddy bears. You've even got a tank there. Oh my god, a baby gas mask. It's a bit surreal because obviously I wasn't alive when it happened. So when you watch these documentaries and watch like the series on Sky and stuff, you're sort of like excited to see it, but it's really, really sad. And seeing this, I don't know what to think of it. It's horrendous. These people have literally just got up and left and 
never come back. You just look around and you just see everything that's here. Oh my God. All the cots. There's a doll with a gas mask on there. Loads of dolls, loads of gas masks. Look at the place. Jesus, all the school books all over the floor. Oh wow, in here you've got a classroom. Look at all the benches. So this would have been full at one point, full of kids. Looks like Robbie Williams, huh? It'd have been sitting and then you've got the whiteboards at the back. And look at it now, trees coming through the windows. This place is crazy, isn't it, Igor? What do you think about it, mate? You've been coming in here for years. How long have you been showing people around here? Ten years. Ten years? And how do you feel about it now, seeing it? Mixed of uh, feeling. Difficult to explain with a few words. What building's that over there, Igor? Schule. That's it in Schule. A school? School, number two. Right, let's have a look in here. School gym. What? The wooden floor has just deteriorated. It's not even here anymore. This is... What do you say to that? Basketball. Mate, that wasn't a bad shot. If you throw it in, dinner's on me. Oh, you're going for that one? Oh! <gasps> Mate, that was... Short Michael Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to Is it together. dark in here? Yeah, dark. What the hell? Okay, I'm not liking this. Oh my God, they're all gas masks. It's just a room full of gas masks. Get me out of here. I don't even know where I'm going. Oh, I'm glad to be out of there. What the hell? 230? What is that? Mate, don't touch it. Mate, fuck it. Mate, don't touch it. That's covered in radiation. Nothing. Empty. Mate, as if you're Stop touching it. So where's the radiation coming from on that? 600? 700? Mate, that's a thousand. Two thousand. Oh well, my come, God, come, mate. Come. Two thousand. Mate, that's dangerous, that. Two thousand for a little p mate, as if you're touching it. You can touch it. Mate, I'm not touching anything. Mate, you are a crazy guy. I am not touching anything. <laughs> this is so little dot. But is that what it is? Is that little thing in there? This guy, Ego, you are a madman. Look at the reading on that. Two thousand two hundred. I don't want it. And then it goes. And then you put it back. And there it goes again, just flying up. And it, all it is is that little dot in the back. Yeah. Is it dangerous for you to touch that? Mm, I guess not. I guess not? How many times have you touched it? Second time. Present. <laughs> oh yeah, you can keep the present. Thank you anyway. I can't believe what I've just seen there. 2,200. Mate, that was crazy. So what would that dose do to you? Like, if you ate that bag, I'm guessing you'd be dead, right? If you ate it, you will get uh, diarrhea. If I hammer this bag and will, from that little dot, I will make smaller dust, you know? Yeah. And do like this, in the hair, in breathe. If you inhale that dot? Yes, it will be staying in my length longer. Maybe cancer. Jesus. So who put that little dot in the bag? Lady from Germany. Jesus. And she actually picked it up and put it in the bag. You know, a lady. Mad woman. We're now on our way to Reactor 4, but before we do that, we're stopping off at the cooling towers. Is this the cooling towers for Reactor 4, was it? Five and six. Five and six. So Reactor 5 and 6 was never actually finished, though, right? Right. Never actually finished. Reactor number 5 was done by 85%. It's supposed to be put into operation in November 19. 86. But it never... No, never happened. You know why. Yeah. No, why? <laughs> because of crazy experiment, you know. <laughs> this is it now. Look at that through there. We're just walking to the coolant tower of Reactor 5 now. You've got this one, as you can see, is like not finished, it's like half finished. But you've got that one over there, which is like quarter finished. Igor, are these two towers five and six, are they? These uh, unfinished cooling towers for reactors five and six. They're both for five and six? Yes. Ah, okay. Jeez, look at this. This is actually inside it. This is crazy. We are literally inside the cooling tower. What are you doing with that? Three, two, one. 
you can hear it just echo. We are now on our way to Reactor 4 where it all happened and obviously they've got the shell over it now so this is the first time I'm going to see it up close. So this is it, this is where it actually happened. What statue is this mate? You can read in English. To heroes, professionals, to those who protected the world from nuclear disaster in honour of the 20th anniversary of shelter object construction. From what I've read and learned, the shield over Reactor 4 cost £28 billion pound, and it was funded by 28 different countries. 42 countries paid. 42 countries? Ah, I read 28 somewhere. It's only going to last 100 years, is that true? No, this is lifetime. The lifetime of the new shell is 100 years. So what's going to happen after that? Have to take it down and build another one? Look, old shelter, like look like this, was built only for 30 years. It was covered with new one. But new one, it is not just covered. It is machine to dismantle old one. Ah, okay. U using remote controlled cranes, which connected to the ceiling. Then uh, using remote controlled cranes, take out melted fuel. Everything will be moved to a storage called Vector, storage number one. When they finish to dismantle old one, we'll dismantle new one. I'm with you. Yeah. So by the time that has to be dismantled, there's nothing going to be there anyway. But obviously the radiation around it is going to be around for thousands of years. I, I, always, always, yeah. That's crazy. Have you ever been in there? I have a guy, her name is Victoria. She has been inside between a new and old one. And she said the radiation is quite low. It's around 12. 12 in there? What's it stood here? It is 1.03 and that's how close I am to it. It's surreal just watching in all the documentaries and obviously that program just studying it's literally behind me <sighs> right next stop we're gonna go and check out Pripyat I cannot wait for this it's got such an eerie feel to it in this town it was possible to get lethal dose of radiation and then you've got a swimming pool Look at the water in there. What was it? Snake, a snake. A snake? Whoa, don't go start looking for it. So is this like a hotspot? 103? That's crazy. 